All right, we had a question about bleeding the brakes with the vacuum pump for one person bleeding, brake bleeding, <laughs> one person bleeding. I do a lot of that around here. Um, but um, anyway, to do it with a vacuum pump, it's real easy. You got the vacuum pump. My dogs see something. Anyway, you got a vacuum pump, a gauge, hose, a cup, uh, another hose, and then a fitting that's going to go on the bleeder. And uh, there's different types of fittings. I like the pointed fitting. It goes inside. There's others like that. They don't seem to, to me, they don't fit as quite as tight. So I'm going to use this one. I've already pumped some of the fluid in. So uh, this is my O2 Escalade. It's not a 64 Cadillac, but it'll it'll do. It'll serve the purpose. So I just need to replace the um, brake rotors, uh, the calipers, and the pads. And uh, everything's all new, so it's going to have plenty of air in there. Because I had to disconnect the caliper. Um, so to anyway, to bleed the brakes, uh, we want to insert the fitting, have the cup ready, and we're going to pump up some vacuum. Hopefully, and we'll go to about 20. So then we're going to have to have a wrench uh, um, to open the bleeder. This one uses a 10. This uses a 10 millimeter. So we'll open it up, and there goes the fluid. You see it running through, running out. It's going to run into the cup. So I've got maybe almost an inch. You see it really coming out now. So I'm going to continue pumping, keep it pumped up. I get about two inches in the cup, maybe not that much, but I'm going to, then I'll tighten it back up. So I'm going to have to just keep pumping. And, you, and it's been a while, so you have to kind of gauge how much to open that fitting. You don't want to open it a lot because then you get air around the threads. And I've got some Teflon tape around it to kind of keep the air away from it, air from leaking. So you see it's really coming out. And we'll keep pumping. So what you would do is you would top off the fluid. Uh, probably a good idea to crank it and just pump the brakes a couple of times and then bleed them once more uh, in, uh, into the cup just to make sure you've got all the air out of the line. So I'm going to let it pull a little bit more. This is a very small fitting so that's why it takes so long. I can use that larger fitting and it pulls it in quicker. But it's coming. I'll pump it back up to 20 and let it pull. I know that I'm pulling a good stream. And then we'll tighten the fitting. And that's it. Might do it one more time. Um, so we pulled that much fluid in. Um, you can test the fittings. It's a very small fitting, so uh, but it tends not to leak. And that's how you do it. One person vacuum pump brake bleeding.